Ooh, ooh, get it, dude. Back, y'all. We back again for another video. Drive with us, part two. We interrupt this program to bring you Julian, 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 Julian. We're going back to Target because she needs to go. You know, she always wants to go to Target. It's always her. Come along on this journey. Get out. You need energy, okay? That's fake Last energy. video? No, this is real. That's fake. It's real. That's <laughs> it's real! Come on! <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Look at her, she got out because she mad I was yelling. She locked out the house. That's what she get. That's what I'm about to really leave her. So I guess I'll be doing a drive with me alone today. Come with me. All right, y'all, so I was debating on what video I should use. I mean, what video to make because I don't know. I don't know what to post. I need ideas. I don't know, you let me know. But I need to know what you guys want to see. Can y'all even see me? All right, life update, what's been going on? Nothing. Nothing new. Uh, I have a casting on Saturday, so I'm gonna go to that. So hopefully, we'll be booking that. I plan on going to Europe within a couple months. So I'm working on going, I think, to Milan or Paris. That's pretty much it. And then I'm always doing these videos and nobody wants to do them with me and it's freaking annoying. Cause I'm all alone. There's no one here beside me. I like guess it's always just me and I guess it's fine, but. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. This family has no personality. I need a partner in crime. I need like a best friend so we can do. Ooh. Ooh. I need like a best friend so we can do these videos and I can have somebody by my side. <laughs> uh. All right, y'all, I gotta set this back up, hold up. <sighs> I just got the camera all set up. I just left. The store, now I gotta go to another store because now my mom wants something else, so. Anyways. I left C, because she was being a brat. So I left her. And my family, y'all, they are, I love them, I love them, I love them. But they sometimes can just be, ugh. Like they have attitudes all the time. I I mean, it is so annoying. Like, all the time. Sometimes I really do be wondering, am I related? Because I, I look different than all of them. Not even <laughs> trying to be funny. I look different than all of them. I act different than all of them. And, oh no, I, I always be saying I was switched at birth. The doctor switched me at birth. That's what happened. I probably have a rich family out there full of money. Full of, I don't know, but. <clears throat> so I watched this documentary on the Holocaust and what the Jews went through. And you know, obviously, like, you know, they taught us in school about the Holocaust and everything, but they never, like, really went into full detail about, like, the conditions that they were actually living in. And then they never actually showed us like what they were going through. First, I watched this movie. And this girl had, she was Jewish and she went to her family's, it was Passover. She was a teenager, so she didn't really like, um, you know, she was in her own little world. Like she didn't care about the history of what they went through and nothing. 
So when they're at dinner, she goes the and opens the door for like this tradition that they do. And when she opens the door, it takes her back in time, and she now is living back in uh, 1940s, and it was like right before uh, the town that she's in, where all the Jews got captured and taken away to. Uh, I forget what town they lived in, but taken away to the, like, work labor sites. She woke up, and she was, when she came down the stairs, she was at her cousin's house. And, uh, anyway, long story short, go to find out, the cousin was actually her aunt. And she ended up living through what her aunt lived through, which her aunt was still alive. Um, and she was at the dinner, and she was trying to tell her about the history, but the teenager didn't really care so she ended up seeing like everything her aunt went through and when she finally came back she ended up dying in the past and she basically lived the life of her aunt's cousin's life and she's seen everything that had happened and she was the the cousin and she ended up dying and when she died she woke back up and she was back in her present time <laughs> So anyways, this all like brought on this um, like curiosity just about like the Jews and the Holocaust and everything. So I kept seeing this Netflix documentary kept popping up about uh, five survivors and they were talking about the conditions and everything that they went through. And I was like, I, I want to watch that. But I kept like just putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. And then finally I was like, after watching that movie the next day, I'm like, okay, like I really need to watch it now. So I ended up watching it. And I did not realize everything that they really went through. Like I didn't realize, like they were showing images and clips of the conditions and like actually how they looked. And they were showing like all the bodies that they were just tossing away that were completely dead. They showed the people and how skinny they were was insane they were literally walking skeletons with skin on them like that's how skinny they were and i didn't realize just how how inhumane like obviously i knew it was inhumane but i mean like how just the oh, i can't even think of the words to say just the cat like the catastrophic hugeness of it i guess and the actual conditions I didn't I didn't realize it because you know they just told us that, yeah like this and this and this but they didn't go into detail about certain stuff and to think about how fast like they did all this it happened within you know such a short amount of time and for them to kill so many of them I, I just speechless it's sick what what man does and what humans do to each other you know uh, there was one part because they were asking like because the people they still believed in God and they were talking about him and they were like like how can you still like believe in God and trust in God and he let this happen and he did this to you guys and they were like God didn't do this like man did this you don't need to ask God why did he do this God didn't do this God gave us the the ability to have free will and the ability to make decisions and man did this you need to ask the germans why they did this and just to see like how they can have that faith still going seeing i mean just the stories and seeing the images that what they really went through and for them to still have faith and belief in god in their creator is is amazing and then a lady was talking about what they were doing to the babies and they said that they were ripping, taking the infants and literally ripping them from the legs and splitting them apart completely. She said she witnessed they were being taken away in the cars and two of the kids had fallen out. So they had stopped um, and the guy got out the car and there was a little boy. He picked him up by the legs and beat him against the car until the blood just completely came out. and just mangled up and he threw him back into the into the car and drove off 
you look at your life and you see how blessed you are and we we take for granted the things that we have and we take for granted our lives and we look at oh we're not where we where we want to be and we're not we don't have what we want to have but to see we're blessed like if you have a bed to sleep in you're blessed if you have a, a roof over your head you're blessed if you have food to eat and clothes to wear multiple pairs of changes of clothes multiple shoes like you are blessed just because it's not designer or it's not this huge mansion or this fancy car like you're healthy you're living it just puts into perspective everything I'm about to run into the store and I'll be out in a minute all right see y'all in a little bit one minute later all right, y'all, it's getting dark. You can barely see me. I'm on my way back home. Um, I'm probably gonna wrap up this video. Will I even post this? I don't even know because I was just ranting and ranting and ranting and I don't even know what I'm mean. I don't know, baby. The air smells like crap over here and I do not know why. Turn left onto Monroe Street. Then turn Like, literally smells like straight up poo. It smells like a toilet full of nasty ass. <laughs> Okay. I need to go home and make some dinner and then I need to go to the gym still. Alright y'all, I made it back home. Uh, this video is over with. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Like and subscribe. Comment down below what type of videos you guys want to see. Like I always say, I don't know what to post. Um... Yeah, hopefully you'll see me next week. We'll see. I'm trying to be consistent. And yeah, peace out, y'all.